Welcome to GolfIsHardTV.com, golf show for the rest of us. And we're going to talk about some concepts in the bunker and the equipment, mainly the sand wedge. There's only one piece of equipment you really use out of the bunker. Could use other clubs, but we'll get into that, but the sand wedge. And why is a sand wedge designed differently than some other clubs? And we actually got a question on this. We got an email, and the term that is used is called bounce. The sand wedge, sand wedge is actually built with bounce. Now, what is bounce? And this is the simplest way to explain bounce. If I were to hold, if I were to address the ball with my sand wedge, it's the best way to illustrate it. You can see the leading edge right there. The leading edge is actually off the ground a bit, and the back edge of the sand wedge, which is here, it's tapered down. So this angle that's created, you can see that the leading edge is about a quarter inch off the ground. That's bounce. Now, the more you open your face, the more bounce there is. You can see now how high that leading edge is off the ground. That's about a good half inch, three quarters of an inch off the ground. Now, you can afford to do that only when you're in a bunker or if you're in the rough and real talented players can pick it off a tight lie out of the grass uh, when they open the face, but you can see how it makes that much more difficult. Now, sand wedges were built with bounce, so they would bounce through the sand and not dig into the sand. Now, another important concept to understand is that when you shut the face down, the opposite happens, and you can see how now, eventually, the leading edge is actually even with the ground, which is the way every other club just about is built. Most clubs don't have bounce. Um, if your ball is buried or you got a really long bunker shot, I would recommend shutting the face down because now it's going to dig right down into the sand. So let's take a look at a, a, a situation where you would want to close the face and dig, and that would be this shot when your ball plugs into really soft sand. Now, if I were to, if you think about what, I, if I were to try to open that face, I'm going to bounce right into that ball and probably blade. It's going to stick right under here, under the lip of the bunker. Then you're in really big trouble. Now, this is a situation where you just want to get it out. And one thing about the shot, it's not going to spin like a bunker shot. You got to plan for this to roll. But really, let's just get this out of the bunker. So, I'm kind of gearing up for a, a pretty full. Definitely a full swing with maybe a little extra force. Typically, I'd open the face. This is a square face. In this case, I'm even going to hood it a little bit or turn it to the left. I'm going to enter the sand somewhere in here, and I really just want to get that club digging down, and I'm going to move all this sand, and the ball will come out, hopefully. Now you can see the ball came out of the bunker, which from this uh, lie, I was very happy. And let's take a close up on, on this here. And you can see how much sand actually came out of that shot. And if you were to take a 16 ounce cup, you'd probably fill it twice, believe it or not, with that sand. Uh, because a normal shot fills up a 16 ounce cup once. That's how much sand you're moving in any given bunker shot when it's average fluffy sand. So there you go. I hope that explains bounce, uh, why sand wedges were designed that way. and how that'll affect your shot.